generating leads and we have two types of leads inbound and outbound uh, of course inbound leads you know we've explained it through the videos inbound leads are leads that are um, that come to you yeah your phone rings or they email you and they say hey you know uh, do you have uh, pest services in Saremban do you uh, do you offer business coaching do you uh, offer uh, finger print uh, uh, attendance system you know it comes in and they are already asking for it yeah so that's inbound okay versus outbound all right outbound are us going out to the it means we're going to the prospect. You see, the challenge with that is that when we go outbound, um, they don't know they need our product. Therefore, our marketing needs to be a lot harder. Yeah, um, and and most of the time it also costs a little bit more. Yeah, it costs a bit more in terms of time most of the time. Yeah, and inbound they already want something. And you see, something that we have to realize is that in today's day and age, there are going to be a lot of inbound prospects if we know how to do it correctly because there's such a thing called a self-educated buyer these days there are a lot of prospects and potential customers are online and they are looking for us they're looking for what we do this is something that we have to believe in terms of inbound okay and, and not not believe and i'll just say i'll just say this for you a lot of people are searching and they are typing in words on Google and they're looking for us. The thing that we have to do is that we have to enable ourselves to be found. Okay, we have to enable ourselves to be found. So, so, so the question is, you know, as we drive very hard in outbound, I'm, I'm just saying it's not one better than the other, okay? A lot of us are very familiar with outbound, yeah? Um, uh, we'll do our cold calls, we'll do a little bit of that networking, we'll do some of that, yeah? Uh, uh, that's all outbound, where we reach out to the prospect versus the prospect knowing what they want and then they're better quality because when they call us, they already want something. But you see, it's the same conversion process, it's that just that outbound, the conversion process is with us, that's why it seems tiring. Uh, but inbound, the conversion process is done without us. That's the difference, because they're educating themselves. So a very key part of inbound and outbound is not to have one or the other, it's to have both, guys. This is a very important strategy, to be able to have both, but to also enable the inbound. See, when I go into a lot of businesses, a lot of time I find that they are not, they do not have enough inbound. They do not have enough information, enough content, enough words that can convince. And it can be on website, it can be on your social media, it can be, um, it can, can be your videos, it can be any kind of information. You see, an inbound also works as a conversion conversion tool and one of my one of my buddies Krista I think she she shared a lot with me about building my in, uh, our inbound presence and that's why you can see we've got our YouTube channels uh, we put a lot of different articles uh, on our website as well and that's not something that oh that's something that you do as a business coach no uh, it's it's something that we do as entrepreneurs and so my buddy Krista talks a lot about inbound but you know she she has this way of creating this presence where it must tie into your unique proposition and then you talk about that you build good amounts of content and one thing that I learned from her is that if you keep enabling fresh content on your website you know what's gonna happen is that Google will recognize you as a credible content provider and your rankings will increase and it and when people type in certain words it's easy for them to find you so the self-educated buyer gives you quality leads uh, when they're inbound because they already know what they want. And so what you also want to do is that you want to, uh, you want to educate your prospect that this is the kind of business that you want. You know, you can actually do that. You can, you can position your business in a certain way that if, the, if people correspond, they resonate with what you said on your website, on your videos, on your, they'll come to you. But you know what? Not everyone will, and that's okay. You see, that's the thing: is not everyone. You don't. You don't want to do business with everyone. I'll be very, very upfront with you. Because sometimes we have lousy customers, correct? We have difficult customers, correct? And and all of us are aware of that. 
However, when you create a platform to educate your prospects, they also know what kind of vendor you will be. It's a partnership versus uh, I pay you, you give me something. You know, it's not that, but it's a partnership. So, so then when you educate your buyer, they are more ready to work with you in the ways that will give them the best result. Okay.